Hello, board game enthusiast, and welcome back. Let's see how effective our um, fire will be on this gun. Our tank should be moving up very soon and starting to fire as soon as it stops. Oh, there we go. Boom! Okay, that looked effective. Very effective indeed. We've got at least one crew member. The question is, though, whether we actually knocked out the entire crew or whether it's going to take a while. Oh, there's another shot. Yeah, well, he's going to continue shooting and we're going to continue looking at the results because I really, really want this gun to be out of crew members. Unfortunately, the uh, smoke uh, makes our vision a little less reliable in this region, but should be fine nevertheless. So... I see there's another guy. Can we get that guy as well? Uh, probably not. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, he actually cowered. Good job. <laughs> yeah, happy with that. Um, I guess we'll continue firing. Uh, let's see if anything else happened. So, this infantry here has been moving back. Um, our tank has been moving around. I was actually thinking later on whether we should have taken this tank and moved them up nevertheless to give a sort of one-two punch to this entire um, gun expedition. Um, let's see now. What is going on? Nothing is really going on anywhere else. I guess our troops have uh, finished moving up or are still in the process of finishing to move up. Let's take out the trees and take a look at our troops in the for in the forest in the town. What's up, guys? You're moving up. You're still moving up. All right. Sounds okay. Um. And we haven't gotten our visual. Oh. Did he move, or was that just some sort of strange reaction to now? So I probably just used our. Uh, I probably just uh, selected one of the troops, and they uh, and it showed me his uh, his sound contact with respect to those particular units, and that's different than the one I have with the entire army, sort of averaged out. Anyways, um, yeah, well, I think we're fine. Let's try and get this guy out here. And let's attempt an assault on the next line of buildings. These guys are ready. These guys are ready. So they can actually get in here. And then they can assault from there. They're a relatively small team. Relatively sm they're, they're an actually small team of uh, just three guys. So there'll be one, one guy on um, covering and then two guys moving up behind him, which is fine for our purposes. I don't expect anyone to be in that building, otherwise uh, we would have probably noticed them. Now, we've got this guy up here. Can we do anything with him? It would be fun to put some more fire on there, but alas, we're not in a good position to do that. Although, I guess if we're firing on that gun, we could use the time to move up here. Let's do it on fast, actually. So I'm checking the uh, my avenues of fire from over there, and they're actually pretty good as far as shooting over here is. A little too good, maybe. Hmm. Wouldn't want to get in the line of fire of that thing still. And it would appear that we are in the line of fire of that thing, so let's move up even further. 
um, delete this and move us up all the way up here yeah there is no way he can fire at me from over there the question is though whether anyone else can fire at me from anywhere else and the answer to that should be no we even have a decent position on these houses here so if we spot any enemy infantry in there we could take care of them so that would be great yeah this house and this house pretty good these two houses not, not so much this outhouse yes anyone around here nothing here and most importantly nothing here all right that works for me that works as long as the uh, gun over there doesn't stop or start firing at me rapidly I'll be fine with that and that gun should be prevented from firing by this tank here right that's how it's supposed to work So, I'm curious what the enemy will do, actually. I'm curious what our plane will do, actually, even more. Um, I wouldn't mind give, uh, our plane giving us some help, you know? I gotta say. Yeah, our tank here has no weapons at all. Not any help whatsoever. But we can use them as a ferry, like I said before, and that's that might be what we're going to do. Although we might actually want to move up these guys from this direction. If we take care of that tank, then certainly that's a thing to do. And we can also move them up like we moved up our armored car. I think it's even safer to do that now than it was before. And oh, that's a thought. So you could split up this team, which we're going to do instantly. Split them into two teams, right? So both teams have the same. Ah, stop that. Stop that. Um, right. So you've got these guys and these guys. And these guys could get on the tank. The tank could reverse all the way up here. They could uh, turn on this direction then we could have these guys who has the binoculars okay so the guys with binoculars stay the guys without the binoculars um, they're going to move out here slowly and then they're going to go for the tank and sit on it and then we might try our previous maneuver where we move up all the way here and try to deposit that infantry here. Now this infantry is not going to be in great shape to fight, but they would be in a great shape to spot for us. That's really all we want. Uh, yeah. I think... Let's observe the land here. So... Probably doesn't matter in which particular direction, like it doesn't matter if we veer off east or west, because this looks like it's pretty much uniform across the uh, that direction. There is a definitely a hole here that we can hide in. And if we turn on the trees. Yeah, there's a couple of trees we can hide behind and a hedge. Yeah, we, we could probably do it. We probably will. Alright, that works. I don't think he'd expect that. Uh, he might be freaked out by the tank up upcoming there. If we lose that tank, I don't care. Uh, it'd be a shame if we lose the infantry, actually. But if we lose the tank itself, that's fine. Something's running out of battery here as well. I don't know if you could hear that. Um, Alright. Well, that's my turn. Moving up my infantry here, moving, on, moving up my tanks, continuing firing at this gun here, which is of utmost interest to me. Um, and if we have that covered, 
then we can start taking on the other gun and the tank and things like that. Although we will probably start concentrating on the North Village and just try to take North Village. Oh, actually, one more thing before I forget. So we have to... Our task is to capture this zone, right? And we don't have anyone in there. We have to get someone in there. Um, who's good for a, a mission like that? We've got a commander, we've got some troops here. Second platoon HQ. First platoon HQ. No. We might actually take these guys out. Yes, yeah, so let's do that. Let's, uh, let's have them wait for a minute and a half. Right? And then let's have them quickly move back here. Uh, then let's have them move back here. Then let's have them move back here. And then let's have them... Oh, well, we do have these guys. I don't know if they count, though. But, yeah. There's no reason why we couldn't move these guys back. Um, where are they? Because the tankers, they're not really great in these close assaults. Because of their lack of armament for the roll. So, yeah, let's use them to secure this victory position. Um, just in case it's not enough to have just that one guy there. Uh, that one uh, crew there. All right, because I don't know if that house is at the edge of the uh, of the field or not, and whether it will count or not. I think it will, though. But well, you know, just in case. Um, just correct this little bit. Where are you? There you go. Oh, come on, game. I want to click within the white circle. There we go. Sometimes it needs to be told. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll plant them flat in the middle after a minute and a half because just in case there's some firefight here, I w I'd rather have them here uh, firing than not. But yeah, that should be fine. All right. So now that's it. That's my turn. See you guys next time.